Welcome to this, the first of a series of short videos on wildlife of the western suburbs of Melbourne. My name is Ron Waters. I'm a zoologist and photographer with an interest primarily in herpetology, and I've lived in the western suburbs of Melbourne all my life. One of my favourite spots in the western suburbs to take photos of shorebirds is the Paisley Chalice Wetland Bird Hide. Situated at the bay end of Maddox Road, it is between the mouth of the Corroit Creek and the Paisley Chalice Drain. It's a great spot to see shorebirds such as terns, pelicans, cormorants, stilts, herons and sandpipers, but there are also reptiles such as the eastern blue tongue lizard and tiger snake here as well. The bird hide itself is a simple structure. It is really a simple visual barrier through which you can watch birds through binoculars or your camera lens. On this occasion it wasn't so much the birds or the reptiles that interested me though, it was two invertebrates. Walking along the path I saw what I first thought was a blue banded bee. On closer inspection I could see that it was a sand wasp and noticed that this particular sand patch was host to dozens of them digging tunnels into which they would lay their eggs. They were incredibly industrious and totally ignored me while I watched them kicking sand backwards out of the nests. Sand wasps are in the genus Bembix and are closely related to the mud dauber wasps. Technically they are a solitary wasp but they do tend to build their nests close together to form a loose association with other wasps. They can grow to around 20 millimetres long and are often yellow and black or white and black. These particular wasps were bluish and white. Sand wasps are common throughout Australia in forests, urban areas, woodlands, grasslands and along seashores. They dig their egg chambers in loose sand and provide their larvae with food such as insects and spiders and they're particularly adept at catching flies on the wing. Later in the heat of the day, I took a break from photographing the sand wasps and sat down on some rocks at the shore of the mouth of the Paisley Chalice Drain. It was low tide and I noticed hundreds of southern sentinel crabs scurrying across the mudflats. Southern sentinel crabs, or Tasmaniplax or Macrothelmus latifrons, are relatively common on mudflats where they live in burrows in the intertidal zone and where there is seagrass. They prefer soft substrates in which to dig their burrows. They grow to a maximum size of about 3 centimetres across the carapace. Sentinel crabs are regarded as carnivorous, however these crabs appeared to be feeding on detritus in the mud. The most noticeable thing about the southern sentinel crabs here are their long eye stalks. Presumably this gives them a chance to see predators from a distance and probably helps them to catch prey as well. I noticed that some of the larger ones were displaying by raising and lowering their claws. I'm not sure what this was about but possibly represents some sort of territorial display or other form of communication to demarcate their territory or personal space. In any case it looked a little humorous. Perhaps what they were saying is, don't look now but I think we're being watched. I was quite amused by this one. He or she just appeared to be sitting there on the beach chilling, taking in the surroundings and might have been having a rest from feeding.
As a naturalist who is mainly interested in vertebrates, particularly reptiles, I was glad I took some time to look at these two, but very different arthropods near the bird hide. It was particularly interesting to watch the complex social interactions, and it is something I'll try to do more of in the future, and of course capture it with my camera if I can. Thank you.